Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to another Uta Macross Gacha video and explanation for the current new event going on. As you can tell, the banner shows Cheryl Gnome in her good job costume. So we're gonna take a look at the episode plates uh, within this Gacha pool and see whether it's actually worth um, using your singing stones to pull out Cheryl Gnome's uh, brand new episode plate. So let's touch the screen. Okay, first of all, uh, the usual stuff. Four divas equipable with this episode plate. Total score 3210, which is pretty decent, focusing mainly on charm. Alright, so her center skill, Inochi, so basically the blue element episode plates on the unit total will be increased by 25% up, which is pretty decent uh, when it comes to focusing only on blue element songs or Inochi songs. So, Let's take a look at the active skill. Life recovery of 30%. So basically, you can tell this episode plate is not meant for high score achievements, but more to support use, um, which also can be used for high score purposes. Let's take a look at the life skill. At the beginning of the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, okay, so this is a bit of a downer. Um, the, the, I would say the lasting timer, the, the, the duration period for this effect, is very short. 7 seconds is not very good. Um, we have seen episode plates in the past that have done 10 to 14 seconds long. Uh, increases score by 80% up. So with this said, uh, let's take a look at the last uh, panel first before we decide whether Sharonum's episode plate is uh, worthy of spending money or not. Sadly to say, no special notes attached to the episode plate. So in this case, with all the information shown here, Sadly to say, Cheryl Gnome's episode plate is not worth obtaining. Um, there are much better episode plates out there, um, but of course, obtaining these episode plates do give you the points to achieve your Cheryl Gnome costume much faster than normal. So, yeah, sadly to say, this event, um, the App, the costumes for Sharonome and Ranka are only both obtainable from the gacha itself. Um, the event itself, let's take a look at the event. Okay, here we go. We're gonna tap this. I think I've not seen the animation for the event, so yeah, we're gonna skip the animation if I can. So I can't skip this portion, which is fine. You get to see Cheryl Gnome's pretty face and assets. <laughs> For a short moment in time, I love the handcuffs, the heart-shaped handcuffs. So we're gonna skip the story. Okay. And poof, they will show you some uh, introductions to the game. If you guys aren't familiar with the ticketing events, I'll leave the link in the description down below for the video talking about ticketing events and also on the uh, iCard description on the top right hand corner of this video. So guys, yeah, don't forget to enter the event page to collect your daily 4 free tickets. That is very crucial if you wish to do well. Uh, so as you can see here, they're introducing the dual mode and the single mode if you guys aren't familiar with that. So apparently, Apparently, Good Job only has dual mode. There is no single diva mode, which is a surprise for the first time ever. Alright, so um, if you take a look at the rewards for the event. Alright, so there's uh, yeah something new here. So basically, they tell you like um, there is one 5 star episode plate to obtain from the rewards and all that. So 100 singing, 160 singing stones. It is very good that now they have this. Um, implemented so that it's easier for um, players to know what they are lacking from the rewards you know to push themselves further to achieve all the wonderful stuff here so yeah and of course as usual the ranking rewards you know if you do well you gain extra five star episode plates yeah so oh yeah um, we're, we're gonna take a look at the episode plates itself um, let's see so here we go um, probably have to obtain the episode plates um, to see whether they give the points for the Valkyrie um, that was showcased. I'll leave an image here uh, of the Valkyrie. So yeah, supposedly we are obtaining a free Valkyrie from this event. 
um, that is Ita shot with Ranka and Cheryl's Im image onto it. So if you guys don't know what the term Itasha means, um, actually Itasha is the term used for cars, but uh, it has now become a general use for anything that has uh, stickers on the um, vehicle or mobile uh, transport, you know, that kind of thing. So um, if you want to know what it actually means, um, Itasha basically means uh, painful to look at car because in the past in Japan, otaku culture was uh, not really accepted and it, it kind of disgusts people. So looking at a car filled with anime stickers or anything that is uh, cutesy or anime related, it became a pain to see. So that's why the term Itasha came about. So now we have Ita Plane <laughs> for Valkyries in Macross. Anyway guys, uh, so um, let's take a look to see whether there is any special challenges. Um, apparently there's nothing. So the gameplay for the ticketing event is basically um, straightforward. As long as you follow the video that I did, uh, you should have no problems um, getting through it. Alright guys, so we're gonna go back into the gacha pool. Hopefully we'll get the episode plate for this event. Um, I can only do one single tempo plate, uh, template pool <laughs> for the gacha on this new account. Uh, hopefully, other than this episode plate, um, let's take a look at the rest of them. So, 3,225 um, Star Element songs, units total increased by 35%. See, straight away, the second episode plate actually overpowers Cheryl's new brand new episode plate. So, that's kind of disappointing. And for 7 seconds, your combos do not break. 40 second mark, 40 combo mark, sorry. 12 seconds, your score increased by 50% up. Even though the duration is longer, but it's percentage boost is shorter um, this episode plate is more towards mission clearing because of its active skill it can still be used as a live support but not the best out there so do take that in mind no special notes attached to it all right and of course the wonderful Kaname episode plate that you must get so this one doesn't need any introduction because I've I've gone through it countless of times so here is the exclusive four staff uh, four star episode plates within the gacha for Sharon Gnome, which is pretty awesome looking in design. Yeah, I won't have to explain the details because four stars are basically generally uh, meh in terms of skills used. Uh, five stars and six star episode plates are definitely better than these four star episode plates. So, guys, um, we're gonna do the pool now. After that, we're gonna talk about the. Um, costume for Cheryl Gnome itself and see whether it's actually worth using the episode orbs to unlock if you don't have any of the um, episode plates appearing to help you gain the, the costume a lot easier. So here we go. So oh, we've got a golden orb which is fantastic. Um, there we go, 5 star plate off the bat. Um, one, one red box so hopefully that red box might evolve to another 5 star plate uh, but just let's just um, well, hopeful. Uh, sadly to say no, but we do get the exclusive episode plate from Gacha. Fantastic. Alright, we are going to skip all the common stuff. And hopefully the final box. Oh, we do get another one. Fantastic. I wonder if we have actually enough um, points to unlock the costume. I don't think so, because this is a brand new account. Oh, we get to evolve it. Fantastic. Here we go. Is it Cheryl's? No, it isn't, but it is Mikumo. So this plate is pretty awesome. I think this is a good sign that I might be keeping this account. Yeah, so if I do keep this account, I'm going to start a brand new series um, on my channel or even on Facebook, I think. I think Facebook would be better because um, I'm able to um, showcase music content on Facebook. Sadly, to save um, on YouTube, um, music is heavily uh, penalized due to copyright reasons. Oh, there we go. So we have Sharon Gnome's new costume. Um, yeah, and lots of other older costumes appearing because this is a brand new account. So yeah, I think we're going to start a brand new series uh, on Facebook on the Macross Space Time Culture group. Uh, I'm going to start it there. We're going to do um, a playthrough of Uta Macross with a brand new account. 
um, hopefully you guys will follow me on that series uh, and of course we can achieve um, more knowledge through the video uh, series itself um, talking about how you can handle the game and all that stuff so yeah all right so let's take a look at Cheryl Gnome's costume to see if the stats for the costume is actually worth pulling uh, or unlocking with more episode plates or episode ops. There we go. Oh, I don't have Cheryl Gnome. Ah! <laughs> okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, because it's a new account, all the divas are not unlocked yet. So, that's kind of sad. Okay, so let's see. Let me take a look at the details. For the costume, please. No. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to rely on the Uta Macross Wiki, um, the official Japanese version for the info. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at all the brand new stuff under the Chaos Exchange because it's a brand new month where every time, whenever there's a ticketing event, there is always brand new stuff that you need to buy uh, with in game currency, which you like. All this wonderful stuff that you can use to upgrade your uh, Divas Affection which is very important now if you have watched my latest video on Valkyrie Operations you will know what I'm talking about but your Diva Affections are now a very important thing other than you know getting all the special unlocks for voice recordings and all that stuff that aside Valkyrie Operations now is a very important part of um, your diva affection leveling so guys make sure you purchase all this awesome stuff uh, whenever the month resets and of course let's take a look at the chaos exchange for the zodiac medals of course brand new month brand new zodiac uh, medals mini beans uh, brand new episode plates so let's take a look at the top brand new five star episode plate which is Luca hmm so for you guys who have not been playing Uta Macross since the beginning of the game, all these episode plates, I cannot uh, emphasize enough how important these episode plates are because they give you points to unlock the Valkyries for these featured pilots. So as you can see, we have Luca and his Valkyrie from Macross Frontier right here. And of course, let's take a look at the stats for Luca's episode plate itself. We are looking at this 5 star plate, so we're not looking at the 6 star evolution. Uh, so yeah, um, Luca's plate however, 1276, um, focusing mostly on soul and voice. It will be the same thing when you evolve it to a 6 star plate. Unit total 10% up, alright. Life recovery, so Luca's plate is more of a mission clearing episode plate. Life skill at the 22nd, 22nd mark. For 4 seconds, your score is increased by 25% now. So it is a very effective life skill support as well in terms for high score. And of course, it can be equipped by 4 different divas. Uh, yeah, no special notes attached to it. So, alright, let's take a look at the other episode plate that is uh, reissued. So we have Arat. So if you guys don't know, Arat's Valkyrie is one of the most powerful out there. Uh, with the strength of 220 and of course a HP of uh, 200 itself. So Arat's Valkyrie is very crucial when it comes to sending out for Valkyrie operations. Luca, however is more on the HP side. So guys, um, if you're looking for which plate to unlock, if you're looking at Valkyries, I would highly recommend Arat's. If you're looking to gain another additional uh, Valkyrie for Valkyrie operations, I will highly recommend getting Lucas. But Lucas' plane is underpowered, but it does have the HP support. But in terms of using them and in lives, Arat's plane is definitely much better. So Arat's is actually the way to go. But if you're looking to unlock all the episode plates, um, of course, getting Lucas to add into your collection is definitely beneficial. Uh, in the long run, maybe, cause who knows, you might need to use Lucas episode plate for mission clearing in the future if you don't have any episode plates from the gachas itself that has similar effects to Lucas. So guys, pay a close attention to all these small details when it comes to unlocking episode plates from the Chaos Exchange. So let's take a look at Arat. So 1242, definitely higher than Lucas. 
focusing on both soul and voice also similar to Lucas but with better stats uh, in general um, units total will be increased by 10% up similar to Lucas kind of for 7 seconds well you have an easier time tapping notes so uh, I would say this skill is actually better than Lucas <laughs> because um, you can actually use this active skill to try and uh, perfect full combo songs that you are having problems with so yeah uh, life skill at the 45 second mark for 4 seconds your combos do not break so um, in terms of life skill Arats is a meh because Arats life skill is more of a mission clearing uh, life skill so if you are the kind that likes to practice uh, first hand on extreme or extreme plus songs um, Arats episode played as a life skill support uh, might come in handy but in terms of high score bonuses I think Luca has the upper hand here so it really depends on what you want um, for me personally I have only one copy of Arat because in the past uh, I didn't really play um, that well uh, so uh, sorry I have zero copies this is a new account so <laughs> I have to take a look at it on my main account I need to see which ones I'm lacking of if I have both copies of Arats beforehand I might want to unlock Lucas to gain the uh, episode plate image just for collection because both plates are very close in terms of uh, stats use or skill use uh, so yeah so it really depends on which one you want to have more copies of if you have already gotten Arats beforehand in the past maybe getting more copies of Arats now will help you out because you can unlock secret boards um, ga gaining the luck value on the episode plate itself if not if you're just a collector of episode plate images well you definitely want to gain all the new episode plates that is available uh, in the chaos exchange as of now so we have uh, Elto here and we've also got Luca so lots of Luca love for those who <laughs> um, appreciate the Shota um, value so anyway guys we're gonna head over to the uh, Uta Macross official Japanese wiki page to take a look at Cheryl Gnome's costume uh, and see whether it is actually worth um, unlocking the costume by getting more um, episode plates from the gacha itself or using episode ops to unlock the costume itself uh, costumes now also have a very important role because we don't really know if the new costume from all these event releases have evolution uh, value in the Kiawar rank system. So guys, uh, give me a sec to transfer over to the web page itself. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, so we're here at the Uta Macross Sumahon De Culture official Japanese wiki. If you guys don't know about this wiki, please make use of this wiki. It is very, very helpful because it has all the information that you need regarding the game of its current update status. So sadly to say, this wiki is only in Japanese, but if you know how to read Japanese or roughly recognize some of the Japanese words, this wiki is definitely very useful for you. So guys, we're going to take a look at uh, Sharon Gnome's brand new costume uh, We're gonna take a look here Event uh, Let's take a look here Let's scroll down all the way So it will show you all the information that you need to know for this current event Like the episode plates and how you obtain them uh, And of course the Chaos Exchange brand new um, episode plates And of course those repeated ones uh, that we just went through uh, Miss Macross, yeah, not so important. Uh, of course, oh, where's the information for the costume and the wait? Okay, it should be under the new tab. Let's see, gotcha. So, yeah, there we go. So, there we go. So, if you guys don't know, these are the brand new episode plates within Cheryl Gnome's new gacha itself. You can see that we have a lot of Cheryl, basically, a lot of Cheryl. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the costumes details. Here we go. So Sharon Gnome's brand new costume for the new song Good Job. If you guys have seen the Tokyo Sky Tree version of Good Job, you know that the costume color is not the same. Uh, the Tokyo Sky Tree version, the costume is in white. 
uh, rather than beige or brown, whatever this color is called. Um, so yeah, um, okay, so the costume stats basically gives you a charm 10% boost. Now this effect is just its base effect. Because of the new Kawawa rank system, the costume may be able to evolve uh, and have brand new stats added to the costume itself. So guys, this is not the costume's final form. <laughs> so yes, make sure you do uh, understand this fact because it is a brand new system for the game of Utah My Cross uh, and a lot of things have not been discovered yet. Right now, I myself am trying to figure out Kawawa rank uh, because I just finished with the recording for Valkyrie Operation. If you guys have not watched that, I'll have the link in the description below and the iCut on the top right hand corner of this video as well. So guys, uh, looking at the stats of the costume charm 10% up, it's a very big boost for the charm value. If you guys are playing for high score, this costume is very crucial when it comes to charm uh, songs. There are other costumes for Cheryl out there that may have the same effect. Uh, after all, my Cross Frontier characters have the most amount of costumes unlocked right now for Uta Macross itself. Uh, yes, because, well, Macross Frontier is Kawamori's money making baby. <laughs> so, guys, uh, yeah. So, alright, so let's go take a look at the brand new Valkyrie that is for um, this event. So, Macross Frontier. Okay, let's take a look at the brand new Valkyrie! The VF25F Itasha version! Yay! So anyway guys, as you can see, the Valkyrie is very messy in colour because there is uh, printed designs of Ranka and Cheryl on the top of the plane. Uh, of course, looking at its stats, 200 attack power and 210 HP. This is pretty decent considering that most of the scout planes out there have very low attack strength. So this version of Alto's VF25 um, is pretty awesome in terms of use for Valkyrie operations and of course for um, using in the songs itself. It has a pretty decent attack strength. Uh, 200 is pretty average considering that the highest attack strength right now in game is 220 uh, which belongs to Arak and Messer. So guys 200 and 210 HP considering for Valkyrie operations itself it is a pretty awesome plane. So guys I highly recommend you to work hard for this event and unlock the free Valkyrie given to you. All you have to do is just obtain the 5 star episode plate given and of course the 4 star episode plates plus the 3 star episode plates in the event rewards itself and you should have this plane unlocked just like that. So guys, work hard for it and you definitely will not regret it later on. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much all the information for this current new event and gacha. Hopefully you guys like all the information I've shared with you. Uh, if you do, let me know by hitting the like button and of course sharing the video to your friends who also play the game. Or if not, introduce them to time across and spread the culture to the world. And I'll see you guys soon in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!